gate assistant. Thank you, gate assistant. Me and Peter, we're off doing some private work. I can show you a little bit of what we're doing. Uh, basically, we're uh, making a stone, uh, concrete pad for our uh, landowner. These are the fields we actually hay make in the summer. Sheep are on there at the minute, doing a fantastic job. And we've got two loads of stone coming today. We've got plenty of stone there. We've got a couple of loads coming today. Started to get a little bit boggy on the, you know, underfoot. And the uh, lorries were getting stuck last time. So uh, we've got the chains with us. We are going to uh, pull them across the grass. Uh, it's not bad all the way, but there's just a couple of sloppy spots. So uh, we'll just pull them across. Uh, it'd be quicker than them dumping the load and then me and Pete loading it back up into a trailer and bringing it across that way. So we're just going to drag them across, let them dump and drag them back out again if need be. Just going to change the hitch over so when the lorries arrive we're all ready for them. We ain't got to mess about. Put it on the clevis. We'll use a pin, chain goes around the pin, keeps everything low. You don't want anything pointed upwards. Because if the chain breaks, kaboom, straight through the window, bad time. What are you doing? I'm sneaking up on me on my birthday. It's like driving a superior, fully functioning tractor. <laughs> what did you do to it? You sabotaged it. We've got to this topsoil out in this area. We want a four inch fall on it. Because this will be an apron in front of the barn. We want water to run away. Right. So that bit's level, yes. and this bit's going to fall actually into the Four dirt. Four inches from there down to there. Right. Okay. And the land goes that way anyway, so it's going to be quite deep this end, isn't it? Deep for this end, and up there. Yeah, we, as you can see over there, we've gone out into there. So. Yeah. Go where? Down, yeah, down a bit, Pete. Bit sand down there, look. Right, let's see. That's level there. About an inch. Yeah. Right, that is about three inches. That's what she said. <laughs> Bit of sand in there. Bit of sand. Yeah, I know. Yeah. All right, I've got to pitch my lathe in until that beeping. Yes. And then that, in theory, that should bring us up to... Meet that, yeah. Up to there. Right. We're within a centimetre there, so that'll do. So if it comes on here now, it should be beeping as well, shouldn't it? It should be pretty near level there, Depends which lump of mud you still got on. Yeah, bang on. Yeah? Yeah, that'll do. I'll come back a bit. You'll have to, I think. only brought one battery with me so we uh what we'll do is continue that along there that'll have a four inch drop on it then we're going to put some of this stone on top and uh then we've got some type one coming today and that will go on top of the stone after that 
but this is where we're tipping the good dirt. We'll move this dirt again because this is lovely dirt. We'll um, we'll find somewhere for this. Always somewhere for good dirt like that. Um, we'll do that probably in the spring, I imagine. We'll find some holes for it. There's always some holes you can find. Okay. So the back comes up. This is just a basic tipping trailer. Oh. Ooh, my pipe's come out. stuck in the trailer looks like I think Pete's gonna pull it with the digger oh, mud coming up stop the stone getting pushed in Then what? You cover this with how much stone? A foot. A foot stone. Then a f some a type. Of type uh, some uh, some type one on top. Yeah. Roll it all down, and then concrete six inches onto all that. And six inches of concrete, yeah. We're gonna have to get some more to ram, aren't we? No, this will last. This is gonna do it. Yes. No faith. Yeah, it'll reach and perfect. It's uh, getting on for the end of the day now. Me and Pete have been leveling off some stone. It's not the greatest of stone, but it'll be plenty fine for what this is. We had to tow a couple of lorries up here. That was quite interesting. And uh, they're bringing two more lorry loads of uh, Type 1. So uh, if they're here in time, I'll show you dragging them across the fields. Uh, the lorries are all water, so they struggle on the uh, on the wet mud. Peter's just tracking in the stone, and it just shakes the stone as well as the weight of the digger. Just pushes everything down, levels it off a little bit more. Uh, it's like having a vibrating plate. Not exactly the same, but you know, the uh, front there we've still got to uh, push that forward a little bit, so we've got a bit of fall on it. Uh, but we're getting on with it. It's all right. And then we'll have some type one, which is smaller stone, nice leveling stone. And we'll put a layer of that on top, and then we'll uh, shut her up for some concrete, lay uh, six inches of concrete will go on top of that, and then whatever he wants to do with it from there on is up to him. There. That's a 13 tonner Hyundai. We had an old Samsung that somebody broke into. It's a good machine. He likes that one. 
one day we'll, uh, we'll go out and have a go with it because I never get a go on the digger so I can do it I just can't do it as fast as these guys I don't know if I've said it before, you know, when the uh, quieter months come in, these sort of jobs are easy for us. We've got the machines, we've got everything to do it. So, uh, and you know, the landowners that we usually work for, they, they, you know, everyone wants a little bit done for them. So it actually fits hand in hand and uh, saves us being bored sat at home. So uh, me and Pete really like this sort of work. We, uh, and we're not experts in, we're not experts in, uh, you know construction or anything like that but um we know enough to get by that's all well peter knows enough to get by not me but, uh, yeah this isn't unusual for us to be doing things like this right we're all hooked up here i haven't got much battery left so you're just gonna have to bear with me i need to get this thing in low range how do i do that like that we're gonna start off Nice and gentle, bit of revs. We'll have a bit of diff lock. I just want to tighten the chains up gently. What are you up to? Don't be lifting them, I can do that. You want another one? On the front. On the front. What are these for then? How many do you want on? Two? Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. I'm going to leave the door open so I can drive it back in. I can take it another load of straw. Okay. I was going to turn them over then and pick them up. The bottom like ones are no good, they can go for cows, the top ones are alright. No, that's why I was going to find out whether they are alright or not. Yeah. For, for a bit they sit on the edge, don't they, and the water yeah. gets in. They like this, little, do they? Little Billy, you like just take takes on the bottoms. Yeah, yeah. And uh, then I give them Devon half each. When will the balls come in then? Uh, a little while. No, not until it's wet. That's long enough for them. It's been in the shade there, isn't it? Yeah. I had it sticking up a bit in the air. Yeah. You happened. you went in like that and then grabbed like that. So you just. Just got, it's hard to see because you, you're up here so you can't see the tip and you'll you'll only learn that by feel I, it's the same for me every time you'd be like you grab them and then the fronts if it's hay they'll fall off yeah. straw's not too bad because it's light but um, yeah you just sort of got to press them down and you just get a feel for it you can't you can't see it you just feel it so that's much better isn't it because you got it flat You'll find your own way of grabbing them. I'm watching you like how you and I are getting that doing. You do put it down first and then... Yeah, the trick is just to have it level with a bit of pressure and they grab perfect. The hay bales, the ones that sit right on the top, have straw on. So you've got to try and scrape the straw off with the tine as you go through. Yeah. Because if not, the um, it leaves too much gap and then they do fall off. And you will have it full because it, we all have had it full. It, even when even when you know how to do it they still fall sometimes they just don't grip very well so you broken it is it this wear plate is it that one's sliding out yeah it gets in. fixed on here look and the uh, the bolts missing there. Oh, I was going to say it's all there. One two of them. or three missing. Look. Oh yeah, there. No, you're right. There is three missing because that one's moved as well. Look. But I say they're on the place. Hey, hey, you put them back in. I don't know. It's a job for Peter, isn't it? We line this up. All right. I 
half of it. Like that. That goes then, on the back side. And then does that door like bolt somewhere and stay there? No, just um, we leave this door sliding. Mm -hmm. So if it comes hot, we can get some airflow in. There was another door here, but sliding Uncle one. Uncle, Uncle Frank, Fra <laughs> yeah, Uncle Franklin mended that. Mm -hmm. um, but it was just so we could keep them warm when it's freezing cold, mm -hmm. and uh, we could put the airflow in. But yeah, this just stays here, really. Okay. You're right. He said you can, uh, the ball line there, the, the field with the balls in, yeah. has got electric line on it. Oh, beauty. So you can tap onto that. Yeah. Tell me before you do it, because it's 240, so. So I've got Dave for that. <laughs> yeah, Dave, put that on. Yeah, just, just quickly wrap that one, Dave. I'll move that trailer now for you. You can leave it in there if you've got access. Uh, we've got to get it out in a Friday anyway, so. How many are you bringing over then? You, will you do all three fields? Do it in one, yeah. Just one? Just do it in one. Oh, you'll do the whole yeah. lot? So yeah. you let them run the lot? Yeah. Are you guys busy then? A uh, little bit. A little that bit. That the other day, that knocked a lot of trees down. Yeah. Which ruined a lot of fences. Yeah. <laughs> that was wild, wasn't it? Yeah, did it do much damage to you or not? There was trees everywhere, yeah. We've got a bit, we've still got a bit of clearing up to do if yeah, I want so it. Oh, I see, so what do you do? You ride around with the quad, it all comes off. Yeah, it, it un unravels as we drive round. Yeah. The friction of the weight of those reels sat on those plates stops them spinning when you stop. Right, so it's like a like brake as well, yeah. yeah. That's it. And then um, run along behind, stabbing the posts out. Yeah. And then when you get to the corner, you put these out. And the dogs are here to make sure you don't mess it up. The dogs are here for day trips, <laughs> I'm in a black pool. Yeah. Yeah. When will you bring the sheep then, Jack? Tomorrow, sweet. Yeah, if we get this done. Is there enough grass here for them? How long will that last them? I don't know. Find out. Depends on how much rain we get. Yeah. If it didn't trample it, it stays dry, then quite a long time. Quite a long time. Hmm. Maybe like four weeks, five weeks. Yeah, well, alright. If it rains really hard, they'll maybe be here like a week and a half, isn't it? it what, because the ground will get well, beaten up? Because they'll run because they'll walk round as a group. Yeah. More or less. They'll keep flowing through the gateways all the time, right? And they'll just absolutely destroy it. So then you've got to keep moving them all the time, then. We'll just move them on somewhere else. Yeah. And then we, it might be if it becomes really wet, we take them back, put them on some permanent pasture where they can't ruin it as badly. Yeah. And then if we get some frost or it dries up a bit, we can just run them back. Again. Yeah. You leave the fencing up. Blah blah blah. Yeah. yeah. How are you getting on then? You all right? Yeah, getting on. Yeah. All right. Liking it? Yeah, enjoying it. Yeah. yeah. Good. Yeah, yeah, well, that's it. That's the main thing. All right, I'll let you crack on. All right. You've been watching old Keithy do it. Shove him a knife. Oh. Me and Charlie are just getting the sheds ready here. Put enough straw down in there. We're just gonna spread it about a bit, make sure it's uh, thick enough for the cows. Uh, we've got some wood chip here. This is too too good for the cows, really. But um, you know, we can't. Uh, nobody wants it, so it's gonna go under the feet. Uh, we'll just spread that about. We'll put some nice straw at the back there under cover and we'll get the guard ready we're going to bring in some we're going to bring in some of the feed troughs they'll be coming in and then we're going to start on this back shed here uh, that is some cow hay there so that'll get used up first uh, we'll put some more shore down in there and uh, yeah things will be getting buttoned up here
Charlie. That is too. Look what she's done. Look. Hi. Giving them, give them double mattress with uh, what's the that? Wood shavings on there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah best place for them, isn't it? I said, just shove it around because they're gonna come in here and start fighting. Yeah. <laughs> 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 nice, isn't it? Look how she's done it. Fucking. I know. I, that's. I'd sleep on that. Bloody hell. God Almighty. Perfectionist she is. What's going on here then, Peter? All these have fell out. I, I can see two plates. What's in between the plates? That's a nylon block. Right. That's a shim and that's a steel plate. So you shim that nylon block up to the boom. Why do they fall off? All the bolts have fell out. So you just line them back up and how do they screw in? Screw up into the nylon block. Oh, that's all that holds them, is it? Yeah. On a screwdriver or something? No, it's not even vaguely in the right place. I suppose those are the ones that have always got the weight on them. Yeah. It was when you were on it the other day. No, though. the old man confessed. Hello, sheepy. <laughs> Playing with me. You they're, would... they're not the brightest of animals. That would have stood there for days and died. Christ almighty. It's, it's stuck, can't get out of the hedge. It will stand there and die, starve to death. But you go up to it, it will struggle and run away. Probably want to load more stone in here. Yeah. Yeah, so it's a load. Not a massive amount, but it wants some. Yeah. Right, so we finished the other night, didn't we, Pete? We got the stone in. This time I've got time lapse going for you, so you can sit, have a little bit of a uh, better. You can see a little bit better what we're doing, but um, the backside is level, isn't it? That's all level. Yeah. And, and then, where the laser is, yeah, we've got to fall it this way, three inches. Yeah, and that's just to allow the water to run. Yeah, because this, the this is going to be a concrete apron in front of the building. Yeah. Okay. And uh, what's this? This is. We bought this in uh, oh, type one. Yeah. Yeah. The battery died when I was turning it across the field, so I don't think I got any of it for you. But um, we're just going to put a layer of that all over the top to blind it and get it level. And fine then, layer of that then, yeah. and that'll get you finished you, level. You can't level this big stuff accurately. No. So that's what we're going to do next. And then what happens then, Pete? Yeah. After we've got a layer of that and our levels all right. Track it all in, and then we'll set the formers up for the concrete. And then it's uh, that. So people know what that is. It's like building a. Well, we're going to use timber formers, so six inches thick, uh, deep timber. Yeah. And uh, set that up all the way around the outside, and then we'll put some K form down the centre, which yeah. is plastic charring that gets uh, covered up by concrete, and you leave it in there. Yeah. And then we're depending on whether we can get lorries here, we'll concrete next week. Yeah. There we go. Time lapse is going for you, so you can see what's going on. Um, yeah, we're going to get cracking. Let me loose with the digger. Oh boy. This thing's huge, isn't it? Oh, bloody hell. That's not how you do it, I can tell you that. Oh, you.
Peter were debating earlier whether it was all going to cover. It looks like we're just going to have enough. I think we uh, we must have measured it to the exact amount. Hang on. Not far away, Pete. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, we're, we're within a few mil, Pete. Good. We're on the wrong side of the trees, it's cold. We got the pad finished off. But uh, me and Pete looked at the stone this morning. We didn't know if it would quite go, but it has just gone. We've got a little pile left. And we managed to fix one of the gateways as well, so that's always good. What will happen next is we want to pour concrete on top, so we've got to put up a guide for the concrete to sit in. Uh, it's called shuttering up. That's what they <laughs> that's what they call it. But uh, basically, you build a frame for the concrete to sit in. Yeah, then we'll get the concrete trucks in. How we're going to get them up here is another question. We might have to tow them up, so that'll be interesting. But um, we'll keep you updated as we go with this. Um, yeah, once the concrete pad's here, I think the landowner is going to be able to shed or something like that, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. We like doing jobs like these. And when it gets quiet in the winter time, this is the sort of thing we're always up to. There is a new project going to happen at the farm as well. I'll tell you a little bit more about that in the new year. Um, yeah, so that'll be quite exciting. But, uh, yeah, Peter. Peter and Ag are always up to this sort of stuff. They're the, uh, they're the ones that know how to do it. I'm just still learning. We've got a little bit of stone left over. We're gonna go and improve uh, the way in a little bit. We're gonna lay some stone down so the lorries can get in a little bit better. And uh, that's probably where we're gonna leave it on this one. Sun's just coming down. We've got sheep in the background. It's winter time, it's dry, it's lovely. Everything's nice. Uh, so uh, we'll leave it there on this one. So if you like the videos, make sure you like, subscribe, and um, we'll catch you on the next one.